Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Get Realisms podcast, episode 101. And a special shout out to everyone who was there on the 100th episode. That was fun. I had a phenomenal time. Thank you so much. We had the champagne roll down in this podcast. That's history in the making, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) Um, But what better way to start off our 101st episode than with a special guest? So my name is Adam Chase Rennie. And I am still Christine Chen. Oh, my goodness gracious. And Christine, we have we have a little special someone. Yes. Introduce yourself. (laughs) Uh, I am Leon, uh, Leon Harris. I uh, am a special effects technician from the United Kingdom. Yes, because where am I? I am in the UK, guys. That's why it's dark here. Yes, it's very exciting. I'm very excited because I can't believe I'm here in the UK. But we're not in London. We are in Exmouth. Um, Yes, near near, near to where I am. I'm not going to dox myself but no i was <laughs> about to say don't don't yeah okay yeah. it's uh yeah it's, it's nearer my neck of the woods basically sure and, uh yeah it's it's very cold down here yes. very cold oh, very, very cold. dark yeah how cold is it dark out there and cold uh it's about I, I don't know what it is on in that stupid conversion you do but it's like oh, two, i know uh, mi- minus three degrees celsius or something so whatever it's fahrenheit. pretty cold i don't know i don't know what fahrenheit is yeah, yeah. but it's not it's not like freezing no, it would be. It would be um, well, it's be, free, it, it is freezing. It's, it is freezing, but not like but it's minus. It's minus three. Yeah, but the there's no. Snow. Oh, it's negative three. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I, yeah that's freezing, sure Christine. Hi, yeah, Marianne. that's freezing. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but there's no snow. Uh, no, it's, it, it it ices up, but basically because when it when near the sea. Oh. Um and the sea uh really prevents because the sea winds and all this sort of stuff and prevents the salt the, the salt really the really prevents oh. the the uh the snow. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Um, it, we get sleep here crazy. in Texas. It, it yeah. gets wild with the ice. Sleep. Was... I, I, I was there in January when the when the snowstorm happened. So are you? Were you really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not the not the first one though. The second one. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah, the oh second, the second one. one. Okay. Well, that still stunk too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I I was stuck in my apartment for like four days because uh, I just I just couldn't get out. I was I was right around the corner from the Dallas Cowboys stadium, and it's like it's just just stuck there. And you just couldn't walk even, around. Yeah. Even DoorDash wouldn't deliver to me. It was like this is terrible. I, I was going to swear them. Oh, you can swear. All right. Oh, you can. Come on. Yeah. Come yeah. On. Just. Yeah. yeah. We don't care. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Not at all. Well, that's crazy. Uh, so, Christine, you you so how you've been there for only a couple days, right? Yeah. Uh, two days, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, only two days. P- proper British uh, welcome. You had a proper I, British welcome. I did. I came in. I had. St- Slept zero. Um, I couldn't sleep yeah. on the plane. I well, you don't sleep anyway. That's true. I I I have slept. I do sleep more than I used to because I am old now. Um, but uh, I didn't sleep on the plane at all. Caught up on movies and then uh, got got to London. Then took a train. Several trains later, ended up in Exmouth, and he came to pick me up and took me to a proper pub. Well, a carver, yep. a yeah, we, carvery. It's a, well, it's a pub, but we yes. had a carvery at the pub. We had a carvery at the pub. A Sunday roast dinner, but on a, when was it, Wednesday? Wednesday, Wednesday yes. Wednesday, yeah. Uh, Yorkshire pudding. Yeah, yes. Yorkshire pudding. All, all the vegetables, mm-hmm. uh, meats like beef and turkey and like pork and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. But ba- basically, what we, you just said it's like a Thanksgiving dinner. It's yeah, like, but it we, feels like a Thanksgiving dinner. But we decide to have it every day if we feel like it. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're thankful all the time. All the time, yes. <laughs> well, it's, um, I mean, it's kind of worse here. Like, there's bar and grills here in uh, in America that are just like, just you get like steaks and like like baked potatoes and, and yes. shit like that. Like, you get like crazy, like... Even a three course meal sometimes at a bar and grill. It's it's pretty stupid sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I I uh, I'm a big fan of Cracker Barrel. Actually, it's my guilty pleasure. Listen, I, uh, I love a Cracker Barrel too. That's yeah. also yeah. <laughs> That's it. Well, I I because I've I've come out a few times since since I did the movie with uh, with Christine. Yes. And uh, so, so I I was actually out last in October, so only only a couple of months ago, and uh, I I just kept going to all the places. Like I went to Goldie's Barbecue, um, which is in uh, Fort Worth. Yeah. So it's like, and it's now apparently voted number one. So it's actually beat out Franklin's and Snows and all that sort of stuff. It was, and it was. It's damn good, good barbecue. Oh, yeah. it's damn good. 
Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. yeah. So you're, you're gonna, you're planning on coming back to Texas then? I, I come, you love I, Texas. I come back frequently. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Well, I've, I've oh, been there, great. I've been, I've, I've been there twice this year already. So it's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He loves Texas. Right. He would love to work more in the US, but um, there's, because he's from the UK, it's yeah, it's, it's complicated. With yeah, it's weird with like sponsorship and, and, uh, and yeah. oh, like visa like wise. That. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, th- I think basically because I've I've got American friends that work in the UK, and I think they have to be technically sponsored, which is like basically you just have to pay a sum of money to that union, um, right? Which he he will get on the production, but he will pay the sponsorship himself, and that's the sort of deal they work, which is it's like a couple of thousand, but it's like. But that's absolutely fine because then you make obviously a lot more than that doing the movie. Mm-hmm. So I, I mean, if I if I could say to someone about the sponsorship, it would be like, well, if I just pay my own sponsorship, and it's like you just sign the paperwork, it's like, well, yeah, I could work on a movie then. But I'm, I'm not I'm not quite sure how the union really works in the states. It's um, so so because I I actually got told at one point that my credits might not even count, and it's like okay yeah which is weird because he's in the union in the uk yeah, that's I'm, why he gets to work on the big stuff that's it. I've worked and it on doesn't the, transfer in the u.s that doesn't make that's sense what we're not sure I'm not sure yeah I've, well, I've worked on... yeah i think it's to prevent people from because they want locals you know to, yeah. to work so that people that, that, like leon oh, take all our right. jobs yeah take <laughs> our jobs stop taking our jobs <laughs> yeah <laughs> stop taking our jobs guy yeah, yeah. that's uh I, Go ahead. I'd be, I'd, be de- I'd be dead. I'd be dead in like a month out there anyway. I just eat all the time. So like... <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of I. That's the thing with Texas, just like it's mostly comprised of restaurants. So if you want like a good food experience, Texas is the place yeah. for sure. I lost um, so much weight when I came out there. Uh, and like every time yeah. I came out there, I put I put on more weight. Like uh, I went to uh, Texas Roadhouse again. Um, <laughs> I, I think when I was out in January, I went to Ruth Chris, and it's like just places like that we don't really have in, in the UK. So, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so they, Lee and uh... I, yeah, we oh uh, met on a set in Texas. Is how we our paths crossed. It was about two, right. three, three, three years ago. ago. Three years, three years ago. ago. Um, out in not really Dallas it was. Uh it's it's Fort Worth, Fort the sort Worth. of Cedar Hills sort of area we're yeah. around. Yeah. And, oh, Dallas. Uh, okay. Yeah, and so we met there, and uh, he did the special effects. And actually, could you tell us what's the proper diff? What makes something special effects? <laughs> okay, um, what a segue, Not to Christine. be confused. Right. Not to be oh, confused yeah. with visual effects. Flawless, everybody. flawless segue. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, vis- visual effects is what we call them in in the UK. Mm. They are they're, they're they're very sneaky. They keep trying to call themselves special effects, and they're not. Then Wait, they're VFX. Right, we're right. VFX, visual effects is the computer stuff. Yeah, that's yes. the computer mm-hmm. stuff. We're yes. SFX. Yes, but you, you, effects. you guys use SFX as as the um, is it the acronym for uh sound out in the states? Is that right? It is also that. It is, which is weird. It's yeah. like, stop stealing our stuff. <laughs> it's like no, it's it's, it's special, special effects. It's basically it's practical effects. So it's like it's your um, it can be your engineering mechanical work, but it can also mean your practical effects as in your atmospherics. So you've got your wind effects, your smoke effects, your fire, uh, your explosions, so your pyrotechnic sort of stuff, uh, bullet hits, all, all that sort of uh, good stuff. Um, but it's all on camera, all physical. And yeah, that, that that's basically the majority of our work. We, we, we do get mechanical rigs and stuff like that, but they're usually pre-built um, by engineers and then we'll bring them onto a set. And we'll actually pretend that we made them and we'll use them, even though it's actually the clever engineers that have made them and we take <laughs> right. all the credit. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's cool because he's been showing me like some pictures and videos and stuff of things that he's, he cannot share. And there he will have to be careful when he t- talks about us and the stuff because he has NDAs mm. and whatnot. Yes. But um, of course. there was one cool rig. You have a target on your back, Leon. We don't want we yeah. don't want anything happening. Yeah, we yeah. get it. Yeah. So there was this one cool out. rig that he said he had to, to build like in a week, but it was a, a elephant that's breathing. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, that's not out yet. Oh. So very so, careful. Yeah. So, <laughs> what we're saying, yeah. very I'm careful. not gonna say where that came from. <laughs> yeah. No, but that's pretty cool though. Like shit like that. That's so neat. Yeah. 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 And then like catapults. Or whatever uh, again, thing. again, okay, again, yep, same oh, thing. But I want to. Uh, so before, before <laughs> no, we I get kicked, really yeah, yeah. so. well, before we we get Leon fired from all of his gigs, I want to ask <laughs> Leon. Uh, so going back to the special effects to visual effects, so I always were under the term that it was visual effects myself when I was growing up. 
So like when I would watch commentaries or when I watch like filmmakers, like have other podcasts and stuff like that, they always call them visual effects. And, and I, and I never quite understood that why people, when I work in the industry, call them mm-hmm. special effects. But when I think of special effects, I think of like American werewolf in London, like, like prosthetics Which, and like, you know, rubbery and shit like that. Uh, you know, <laughs> we, we, we literally just had a, had a discussion yes. about that because uh, the, the way the industry works in the States is slightly different to the way the UK is. I mean, cause basically I, I, from what my understanding is you have to be in props first before you can actually be in special effects right. in the States, yeah. which is completely untrue in the, in the UK. Interesting. Like you don't have to be in props. I, I've never been in props at all. You know, it's, it's like that we're completely. You never worked art department. Props. No props are part of the art department. Art, art right. department will, will oversee a little bit of what we do, but they don't really have anything to do with us. You know, we, 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 they they will say, "Oh, we kind of want this." It's like, "Yeah, sure, we'll do that," but but they they don't really, you know. Adams in art departments, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm a set dresser, though. I you know, in, well, in a hierarchy, te- technically, if 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 you're going to look at it as a, as a pyramid anyway, art department are still above special effects, but it's like right, it, it will be art department, prop special effects, and they're separate, and and it will just be t- still two different departments. So it's like we we don't really interact unless we need to because then that props have nothing to do with us. Right. Because it would so, fall under like, if anything, camera, if they, if they had to choose a department, but it would probably be like post, right? Like just a post, post, like. Um, I, I guess so. But, but, but I mean, pr- props are just art department, really. It's like art department right. will speak directly to props and art department will speak to us if they, it, 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 like they'll say for particular, um, when, when I've uh, I've run a job, I'll have like the standby art director come up to me and say, right, okay, in, in that particular area over there, we, we're going to see quite a lot of it, or quite a lot of the ground. It's meant to have been snowing, so can we get some snow dressing down? And then I'll get my guys to go over and I'll, I'll, I'll get some dressing down. And and then I'll re- refer back to the uh, the standby art director and I'll say, is, is that good? Are you cool? You're right. happy with that? And, and they'll be like, yeah, okay. And they're like, right, wicked. And then we'll do our thing, which will be – uh, say, for instance, we'll, we'll have smoke in the shot or we'll have some flames in the background, wh- wh- whatever. But that's nothing to do with art department. Right. You know? I mean, th- they may say, oh, it'd be really nice if it was over there. It's like, well, we can't move it. So, no. Y- yeah, that's not my and department. It, yeah. yeah, and it will, it will be something like, well, you should have you should have asked that before. It, 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 it will be, it, it's not really an argument. It's more of a, I'm sorry, that can't be done mm-hmm. in, in the nicest way possible, but sometimes not in the nicest way possible. <laughs> <laughs> so lightly fuck like, off just, yeah 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 basically yeah, sometimes it's like off. yeah just 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 leave me alone <laughs> but, um <laughs> yeah uh, well it, you know it, it can get a little bit competitive on set which a lot of people know but it's it's usually fine usually fine in the yeah. uk versus yeah. here well, you well, mean it's from from what from what i've understood in the, in the uk I've, I've not really worked on too much american stuff to really see too much uh, uh, right the, the job i was actually on Everybody was everybody was pretty great, so yeah. yeah, I can't I can't really fault what what went on there. It was ridiculously low budget. Yeah, it was uh, super com- indie. Yeah, com- com- I mean, a hundred grand compared to like a couple of hundred million stuff for what I work on. It's, it's, yeah, like, it, it was it was out of my element, but I enjoyed it. It was it, you know it was fun. Um, it was it was a challenge with some of the stuff. Um, some of the stuff I wanted to do that were out, were out of budget budgetary restrictions. Mm-hmm. But we you, know, made but it, you made mentioned it work. before made it work, yeah. that that's also why it's fun to do low budget indies because you can't throw money at the problem. Yeah, it's it's it challenges yeah. yourself because you, then then you're actually rather than throwing money at it, you're actually uh, being good at your job. You know, and it's like it's like right, okay, well, I I can't just go out and hire the best thing. It's like how can I make it? You know, mm-hmm. or how can I make uh, the equivalent that will look great? Right, and and we we did a lot of that. Like, uh, I th- I think, uh, uh, well, the movies the movie's been out. The, yeah, the Texas yeah, yeah, so, yeah. It's like yeah, um, yeah. Well, you could talk we, about we, it. We, yeah, yeah. We 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 were uh, we were meant to do a uh, a fire rig, which was just basically a practical fire outside. Um, which if if I'd had time, I would have I would have done it myself. But I I I tried to get it organized, and it turned out that um the supplier uh was trying to charge an extortionate amount. Um, like way too much, <laughs> like two, 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 two that and a half thousand. Right. <laughs> and and I was like, well, I can build it for fifty. And it's like, but but I had no time, so so I so I had yeah. so I had to do it for real. Um, and it was you know it, it worked out, but it's it's things that happen, you know. So some some people will hear a movie 
and then unfortunately yeah, the, the price. price goes up doesn't it so it's, it, it's unfortunate but it, it happens yeah um but it, given the time and, and if, if i were to do something like that again out, out in the states or on on a lower budget stuff um i would just I would, the, the main thing i would want is time because that's that's what i need i i, I can build all this stuff myself it's just I need right. the time and, and materials and and then the thing is it's not like you then give it back you've then got a made rig that can be used forever yeah <laughs> so, exactly yeah it's yeah. uh yeah yeah, a, a lot of problems on set is either you have money or you yeah. have time, you know? So it's like, no no money, more time. That's usually the usually the issue, so. It's starting to get that way on bigger stuff as well. It's like we, yeah. we, we used to get like six months of prep or something yeah. like that. Now, so sometimes you get a few weeks and it's like, wow, this is not enough time. time. Yeah. Just a few weeks? That's insane. Yeah, sometimes, that's, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. I, I think Dark, Dark Shadows, we had like six months of prep, but um, that, but that's going like back over a decade. But Wow, like, really? Um, but, yeah, but uh, late, lately, I, I mean, I won't name particular productions, but it, it just, just they seem to be getting less and less prep time and it's like oh actually we're running out of time we're running out of time you know it's like so what's the most complicated thing that you've built that you're allowed to talk about or you can say these things and not name particular that i've built personally yes uh i mean it gets a little bit tricky because i i'm not i don't consider myself an engineer i'm not clever enough to be an engineer okay. uh the, the guys in the workshop that they, they they are no so some of these people are just like they some know of the, some of the most smart people i've ever met in my life like yeah. um yeah uh you know but but they're not set people uh, so so they'll never they'll so never they'll go always on. be in the shop yeah yeah right. they'll, they'll never go on a set they'll, they'll they'll stay in the workshop they like their tea breaks they 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 like their strict time they like they like going home at a particular time starting at a particular time so they have no hour changes they have no overtime but they go in they do their job that whether it's welding or build, building or d- designing the rigs mm-hmm. but it gets done and the, the seriously the, some of these people are just the, the stuff I've seen some people do is fantastic. Yeah. Um, but I guess maybe, okay, maybe not you personally, maybe like as a team, what's the most complicated? Because I know a lot of this stuff isn't like you. It's like a um, whole ass team. I mean, the the guy, I, I, I guess I can name him, Mark, yeah. Bully, Mark Bullymore is, is a very, very clever man I worked with uh, a couple of times. And he, uh, <laughs> it's quite funny because he's, he's a ridiculously technical person, like so smart. And he he would always go around in a lab coat, and it was just a thing, you know. He's just quite quite eccentric, but smart people are always eccentric. Just walk um, around like a chemist. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, basically. Yeah. But uh, and <laughs> you just see him like staring into space for hours, and it's just, like, you just wouldn't bother him because it's like, well, genius he, he, is he, happening. He's thinking. Yes. It's it's like right. just leave him yeah. Um, but I mean, th- this guy, uh, I, I I got told once because I, I was a trainee at the time. This is like a long time ago. But it's like, um, I got told it's like go over to Mark. And say, didn't you love the CG for the um uh, the, the computer effects for um for the the Harry Potter snake door in Chamber of Secrets? And I was like, what? that's was very like, specific. So it's, like, it's, like, it's like, go go over and say that to him. And I went over, and he's like, no, it's not CG. I made that. <laughs> I mean, it's real. It's real. And he's got a, a video on this terrible flip phone, like <laughs> like from the nineties. It's awful. Like the picture quality is awful, but it's real. That's 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 not computers. What? It's real. That that guy made that door. Like the whole thing, all yeah. the matches and everything, the snake going all the way. That's real. That's oh, practical. I thought that's, it was that's real. I Insane. thought it was no. effects as well. No, I thought it was all effects. No, that's real. What? And, and I thought guy, it was fucking incredible seeing like even the snake crawling that was around one of my favorites, the door. Was seeing that. Yeah, I remember the snake was real. Yeah. Was real. That's I remember insane. that was one of the moments in Harry Potter when that was shown. I was like, whoa, the detail of this. That's what made me love Harry Potter was yeah, some yeah, of those yeah. little details. I cannot believe it's real. Yeah. Well, Harry Potter isn't real, but but yeah. Well, no, Harry <laughs> is real, Leon. You don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah. So 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 this this guy basically anyway, very, very, very clever guy. And uh we uh we, we we were doing a couple of rigs for dark shadows it's like again i was a trainee at the time i, I was i was on set occasionally not often because uh, mm-hmm. at the time when, when you're a trainee in the uk you start in the workshop um i already uh... had my, my, my i already had my pyro experience so i actually started on the prep team so i was just down testing all the explosions for uh spoiler spoiler if you haven't seen a movie that's been out for 10 years but 
uh, Dark Shadows, when we did a huge cannery explosion, we were doing a lot of tests for that. So it's like a, a lot oh, of flame okay. effects and yeah, yeah. Lot of flame effects and stuff. So so there's a lot of testing. But um you can blow shit up. That's awesome. Well well, yeah. Well is that it was actually a very safe, safely done explosion. I won't actually get onto the internet on live medium explain how explosions and how to do no. that. <laughs> so, yeah, yes. I'm, I'm not gonna cancel myself, but um but yeah, it, 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 it was it was a lot safer than than you would think of how we actually achieve that. Gotcha. But uh, I, I told you about yes. that. Yeah, oh, wait, is that the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's cool. It is, it is. But um, yeah, so so we, we were we were also doing stuff with... So so Mark was... Uh, there's a part in it where there's a secret staircase. And it, it I think it's in the, in their front room, their living room, whatever you want to call it, um, where Barnabas, who's played by Johnny, um, yeah. uh, reveals a staircase that goes down underneath which is behind the fireplace yeah Um, all completely real hang on really all the all the mechanics the all real like i I how long did that take that's crazy ah that took uh, a month and a half maybe but but it's it's different people making it like the the staircase uh made by a couple of engineers who are like welding it together and stuff like that but the it's it's actually the portrait you don't see a lot of this which is really annoying uh you you've got Uh actually you've almost got to pause it but if you uh, if you go on the film Dark Shadows, I, I apologize for having to make people watch Dark Shadows again because it's not great. It's but... it's it's whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's whatever. The, the original the original script was very. The good. original sure is I'm... oh, there's an I'm original not... script. I'm not sure if I should say. Okay, that. yeah, we we can we can put a shelf on that. That's yeah, that's interesting yeah, though. Yeah, I want to ask yeah, you after okay. the pod, but yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> but uh, but but anyway, <laughs> so it's like but the, uh, the, the there's this fantastic part where. If you look up on top of the uh, on top of the um, the, the staircase, that, that, that obviously everybody's eyes are going to be drawn to the stairs moving back and going down. But if you actually look up on the mantelpiece, there is uh, I think there's either two or four uh, wolves, and they they're fully sculpted, and they turn and howl. So they they look up. Obviously, they they don't actually howl. Yeah. But but they uh, they 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 t- they they turn towards the portrait, mm-hmm. look up, and the portrait is completely uh, made um, made of metal. So it's it's been machined. Uh, I, I think it was actually water cut. So it's like all all, all this metal was very very thin, and it right. comes in. And the uh, when when the walls turn and howl, the clouds are metal as well, and they they come back and reveal the moon. And that's when the staircase opens up, and it's a bit of detail you don't see, and it's yeah. like in Mark. That's spent very a intricate. Like yeah, it's it's very good, but there's a lot of stuff like that you won't see. But that's special effects, you know. We, we, you won't see a lot of what we do, because if you do, or you notice it's like special effects, or sometimes it, uh-huh. if, if if the smoke's there, or you see the smoke, or you see particular things, we, we're not really doing our job right. You know, you you aren't meant to really tell. That what we're doing is there. It, it's meant to look real, you know, like right. rainstorms and uh, snow and all this sort of stuff. Yeah, that's that's generally us. They don't usually just wait for snow. No, <laughs> they need artificial <laughs> snow. You can't depend on Mother Nature. Yeah. Get your mind. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, I'm gonna ask you to be a dickhead. You don't have. What are you allowed to say that you've worked on? Uh, well, I'm allowed to say anything okay. I worked on because I mean, uh, I mean, my IMDb is out there for anybody to see. But yeah, right. Um, I don't know uh, what what genre. <laughs> okay, let's uh, start listening. Yeah, uh, Conjuring Two, Fast and Furious Six, Dark Shadows, Game of Thrones, uh, Justice League, uh, Annihilation. Um, God, I'm gonna have to check my IMDb because wow. I actually I forget what I've been on. <laughs> I um, Christine uh, sent me your IMDb. I can I could list them off. Uh, all right, yeah, just because I, was, cause I uh, not not in a in a. No, uh, egotistical way. So no, I, I no, really no, 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 no. It's a different but, um, like, world that we're in. Yeah, I, I yeah. do forget sometimes. So it's like... yeah. Just to uh, just to put uh, the audience into perspective, what yes. I holy Christ, Leon, this is a lot. I just realized this is so much. Uh, you worked oh, yeah, on the scro- crown. Scrolls down. Yeah, scrolls you worked down. on the crown. You worked on Justice League. You worked on uh-huh. King Arthur. You worked mm-hmm. on Fantastic Beasts. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. You worked yep. on uh, uh, Bridget Jones, Tarzan. Mm-hmm. Come on, mm-hmm. Conjuring Two, Stag, uh, uh, Luther, King, the new Kingsman movie as well. I think that one was at the top. So new Kingsman, yep. yeah, the, uh, the, the the King's Man. It's the third. The one. King's the, Man, the, yeah. yeah, in in the Kingsman thing. Yeah. 
So, um, and it was oh, Zack Snyder's Justice League I worked on, not not the uh, not the, the other one. I was, was about Snyder to say. <laughs> so you didn't work on the Whedon, the the no, Justice I, League. You worked on no. the ZS the, League. Okay. Yeah, because the the Snyder one was the one before we we did that, and then we wrapped on it. And then they called back for reshoots, but I was doing something else, so you know, I, d- I didn't go back to it. So. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. And uh, and uh, I'm not even credited on that movie uh, because obviously it's 95 percent of it is like so. So I didn't get a credit. And then are you on the, Zach's though? That's the annoying thing. They use the same credits. Uh, <laughs> I was, they I was use actually, the same credits. Oh I was, my I was, god! Yeah, I was actually a little bit upset about that because oh. I, I, I like looked at it. It's like they've just copy and pasted the credits. That's yeah. really annoying. Uh, <laughs> that is. I mean, that's a superhero movie. That's fucking. That's crazy. That's that's yeah, awesome. I, I got to blow up the Batmobile a little bit, so it was fine. You know, was shut like the fuck up. Really? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, a little bit. It was. It, it wasn't blow up, blow up. It was do a little bit of pyro on it, but it was fun. You know. Cool. Yeah, but just he to work near House the Batmobile. I, yeah, wow, well, that that was yeah. Yeah, there's so, we won't tell why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. cool though. Yeah, I, I I had another job, so I I had to turn down House of the Dragon. Yeah. So, yeah. But, so then let me ask you. Uh, so you've probably it's fair to say that you've worked on a few independent shoots, then, right? Uh, one. Yeah. Just only he's one. Mainly, he's mainly done. Oh, union. okay. Only yeah, just only on hers. Each other. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay. So how do you? Free. <laughs> and you did yeah yeah uh that sounds that sounds about right <laughs> i was a fan i was a fan of the youtubers that were doing the movie and i just offered because I'd, I'd done three gotcha. movies back to back to back and uh I, I went on holiday to thailand came back and um i saw a, tw- a tweet from one of the, one of these guys it's like oh uh, they're doing a movie um well i i kind of work in movies so, yeah. so I, I, I could do I a thing or two reached, I kind of reached out, being like a bit, like so a bit, a little bit weird, because like I watched this guy for like ten years on YouTube, yeah. like just because they they had like, like a game chasing show, and um, okay. I, was, I I I found it very very entertaining, and um, I used to watch them all the time, and yeah, I just offered my services up, and they were like, oh, well, we we can't afford you, and it's like because obviously check, the, I think they checked my IMDb, and yeah, like, yeah we it's, we, we can't said, hey, bro, <laughs> and, I, I, I was, and I just said, well, I'll do I'll do it for free, and it's like just pay for my flights and 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 accommodation, uh, and they couldn't they couldn't spring for the flight, so I just paid I paid for my own flight as well. Wow, <laughs> but they, but they did get the accommodation, yeah. the accommodation, the uh, the catering, which which actually you know was, the catering was pretty good. I mean, especially when it was like the barbecue and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, big fan. Uh-huh. Of Oh yeah, but um, yeah, and and uh, a lot of the stuff that I would have liked to have gotten there, obviously some of it was out of budget and stuff like that. But I managed to get some bits in. Um, couldn't use a lot of uh a lot of the stuff I wanted to use because obviously budget. restricted for money. money. Uh, yeah. like there was no, I had no budget myself. Basically, yeah. any budget I had to ask art department, and art department were like, well, we've we kind of spent all our budget so it's like right okay um so i actually had the the first got me a smoke machine that was from his halloween get up or stuff like that like he, he'd used mm-hmm. it in halloween <laughs> like, like outside his house or something and i was like right this will kind of work and it's like a, the 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 element inside it because obviously uh with, with, with the smoke machine um you obviously you, you've got a liquid and you're trying to get to a smoke point so yeah you've got to get to the certain wattage to get to that smoke point to get it heated but as soon as you start putting smoke through it's going to cool it down and then at that point the element cools back down and it's like and i'll have the first uh just saying to me it's like okay more smoke is like, yep it's gonna be like five minutes like well, we're ready to go it's like it's your smoke machine dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and it's like don't blame me this is your kit yeah. <laughs> so uh so yeah it, but but you know it, it, it worked out it was uh and it was it well, it it was what was in the budget. It was absolutely fine. Managed to go out and get a fan to break up the smoke and stuff like that. And it's, I mean, I I was more surprised that um, how it turned out. Well, it, well, when when I even brought up the smoke, um, yeah. I, I know I know it was Billy's first first feature. Yes, but it was like, why do we need smoke inside? And I was like, um you always need smoke inside and so, yeah. it's like, yeah and it's so which but it's i mean you didn't know right yeah that's that's just i i i just sort of said as oh okay i i i mean i believe it's to like soften the lens yes. and like lot, give it actually, a bit of depth and so and i was like I, i'm huh. trying to work out it's like why do we do this again? i guess <laughs> a lot of people who watch movies may not know because a lot of times doing what we call atmosphere atmo 
is not I was about to say that. things. Yeah, not it's not to create something that looks saucy or like yeah. it, it, obviously. Oh, like if your car gets hit, then yeah, smoke comes out. But smoke is used to dissipate light, basically. Yeah. And so only when you have smoke can you see rays of light and DPs love that look. Yeah, yeah. And and I, if you are in movies, it is surprising. It was surprising to me when I first saw it. And, it makes and it easier it like, to well, see. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's it's to cap it's to give the element of uh daylight and stuff like that. And 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 yeah. basically it's it's something to capture the audience's eye, really. That's that's what they really want to see. And um, yeah, you, you would you would backlight uh smoke. And then, then you'll just put, you can even put in a little bit and you will just see all the these rays, beams. The rays but, of light. But you, you've, yeah, you, you, you wait yeah. for the smoke to settle yeah. and, and it will just hang. But basically, I, I'm saying smoke. Smoke is technically the wrong term because haze. it's, yeah, yeah, it's haze. It's haze. Yeah. yeah because ha haze, haze hangs because it's water based, which mm. is glycerin and, you know, pro it was propylene glycol. Um, and your exterior is your smoke, which is usually cracked oil. So oil. That, that that's technically smoke. Yeah. Uh, but people will just say interior smoke, you know, it's the same same sort of thing, but not really. Yeah. <laughs> if, if if you want to be really boring and technical about it. No, well, it's not boring because it, no, like, that's, that's, what people don't important. understand yeah. is that most yeah. interiors kind of depend on that just to mm. show the lights and and give give the DP a little little more that, like creative room to to play with lights and whatnot you know exactly and and that's the thing we're we're a visual medium that's 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 what mm. film is it's like it is there for your eyes you're meant to be watching stuff what's going on yes obviously you're going to be following the story you're going to be listening to the character and stuff like that but it's always nice to have a fire flickering out of focus in the background you know a, a little bit of uh, light beams coming in when you're going through a, a creepy building or stuff like that it's it, all sorts of things like that that's that's us that that's right us. yeah so that being right. said, Leon, do you do you like the independent world of uh, of a film, or have you been traumatized by what you've you've experienced? And you're like, ah, I'm gonna take a break from the indie world. No, I've I've got no problem with the independent world at all. Um, I mean, obviously, it it definitely helps when you've got an unlimited budget. Of course, why wouldn't it? Yeah, <laughs> if a bottomless pit exists. Yeah, yeah. I I mean, I've I've worked on things where, where I mean with the budget for special effects alone is six million pounds is you know it's, it's oh. like, <laughs> and it's, it's just like oh yeah we can do that of course we can do that and is it yeah exactly it's like um and it's it's a running joke um in the uk where if if you're on not not a massive only even even a big budget thing like 10 million stuff like that and you'll ask for something and the and the budget isn't there for it and the, the running joke is that they'll go oh it's not the bond you're not on the bond <laughs> it's like, because the bond, bond gets an unlimited budget. No, it's as bond. much money as you want. It's like, you want that course. You can have five. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's a kind of a running joke because the bond just doesn't have a budget. <laughs> That's I mean, and, and I, it, it shows too. And it also shows yeah. in how the movie has been a little, you know, there's just like that a little too much. A little too much freedom doesn't really go a long way in in terms well, of the creative space, especially yeah, for Bond. I, I mean, I I love some of the Bond films, and, and I love especially some of the, some of the special yeah. effects. I mean, it's 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 with uh, I, I've never actually worked for him personally, uh, but Chris Corboard, he, he's he's basically the 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 top guy in yeah probably the world, but I mean definitely in the UK. Um, and he he has done like the big ones, like most of the Nolan stuff. You know, it's like uh, you, you mm. talk Inception, that's, uh, you talk Star Wars. This, this is this is all Chris gotcha. Corbord. It's like most most of the Marvel films, and actually his brother does stuff as well, Paul Corbord, and then you've got Neil Corbord. <laughs> oh they, really? They, they, okay. They, 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 do, they do like Marvel films and stuff like this, but but they're, they're all very very good at what they do. And there's there's a lot of bigger supervisors. Well, not not bigger super, but there's a lot of big supervisors as well. That um I I broke my teeth on the industry to to get in with and uh, I've come up through that and I've worked with quite a lot of people over the years and so it's 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 definitely eye opening there there are people out there that definitely don't get the recognition that uh, special effects I think used to get because I mean you, household names like Stan Winston and Rick Baker and mm -hmm. Ray Harryhausen and all that sort of thing you know you know you, Greg Nicotero you, it, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, Greg. Yeah, Walking Dead's fantastic. But I mean, but it's, it's like, phenomenal. But it's yeah. but it's completely different special effects to what it, it is, is today, yeah. it, especially in the UK, because special effects is a different thing. I mean, it's still still is special effects, but we have prosthetic departments, right? Special we have makeup. special effects makeup that right. that's nothing to do with us. So it's, yeah, it's, right. It's it's very uh, sectioned. 
Yes. It's like, well, we, we will collaborate. But it's, Is it more sectioned in the US versus the UK? I think it's more sectioned in the UK. I, th- I think okay. I think you guys basically are, you're more under the same umbrella. Yeah. Whereas we, we are very separate. Oh, okay. so it's like we we, we are, which which is fine. I mean, I mean, I, special effects makeup goes more under hair and makeup, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Than than it does under special effects, definitely. Yeah, and prosthetics will have their own department. Yes. Yeah. So they're, they're not really part of special effects either. So, and and again, that would also fall under hair and makeup. Yeah, mm-hmm. I guess define because I had I asked this question. It was something I learned today. The difference between something that would mm. be fall under special effects makeup versus special effects mm. in general. Sorry, say that again. Uh, what's the difference? That. What what makes something special effects makeup versus just your department's right? Well, effects. well, special effects makeup will be like say uh, like, like you were talking earlier about the American Werewolf in London transformation. Rick Rick mm. Baker, ge- genius, fantastic, genius. one of the best transformations of all time, and um, was I mean it's like 40, 50 years old. However long however long ago that was, uh, really? still can't be I thought deep. it was like yeah. 30, 40. Oh yeah, no, you're right. It is fifty. Yeah, it has yeah, to be. it's going yeah. back. Yeah, it's going back. But uh, and 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 it still hasn't really been matched because it's physical. No. I mean, yeah, it's yeah, it's 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 using uh, camera trickery to speed stuff up, but it's, it's still physical, and mm-hmm. it's like, and it looks fantastic, and it just hasn't been beaten, and, mm-hmm. and you can't do that sort of stuff. But what we would particularly do is like, we, yeah, sure, we we could we could look at other stuff today that is the same transformation of monster makeup and all that sort of thing. It's it's really not what a special effects person would do. Like I I imagine. If if The Walking Dead was done in the UK, let's let's do that as an example. We wouldn't touch the zombies. Nothing to do with us. I was about to ask. Okay, so yeah, yeah we, we, would... we we wouldn't go anywhere near, unless someone shot a zombie. We mm. we do the bullet. We do the bullet hit. Okay. We 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 wouldn't do the blood effects around it, but we do the blood bag inside with the with the, the... squibs. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I I was gonna explain more, but I'm not also also not gonna explain how to do a bullet hit on. No, yeah, yeah, so. you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but yeah, yeah. Squib, squib is is the easiest way of saying it. Yeah, so. yeah um, I mean, yeah, th- yeah. So for for independent shoots, like mm. I I I imagine since going back to what you said, it's like it, even though it's limited, it's almost like forces creativity within that moment. Um, ha- does that feel like um? Is that like a particular like like good challenge for you to have, or or is that something that's just like yeah, well, I'd I mean, like to do it on my off time and then you know <laughs> do I mean, my it's, no, it's it's definitely Zack fun. Snyder I mean, Justice League effects. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you, you know what I mean. I I basically I went out there. Um, it, it was it was an experience. I I said that I was basically treating it as a holiday or a sorry v- vacation for you Americans. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Christine made a documentary on her vacation. I mean, she yeah. she's uh-huh. out of her mind. Like she makes a but, whole entire narrative. I'm like, you're on vacation. <laughs> well, but, but that's what I mean. I was I was I was I said the, the way I was convincing myself is like, right, okay, I'll come out, I'll do the movie, uh, but on on the days that I'm not working, I'll, I'll you know I'll sightsee, I'll go around and stuff like that. Which yeah. it turned out I was I, I think I was needed every day apart from one, so it's, uh, I couldn't really do that. And we would we doing six days on something. We were doing six day shoots. It was six days. And uh, you Amer- you Americans mm-hmm. do twelve hour days, which no in the UK we do French hours, which is huh? uh, continuous days. Continuous. Uh, we do continuous and semi continuous, which is like ten hours, ten and a half hours. So it's, it's wow. Uh, you, you get more work done. You don't take an hour lunch because it's like, well, do you want an hour lunch uh, unpaid because the hour lunch is unpaid, mm. or do you want to go home earlier? And it's like, go home earlier. Go home earlier. It's yeah, interesting because from an AD perspective, when I do French hours, mm-hmm. it drives people up the wall. Like I get camera department getting mad at me and all this other stuff because they they can't because they're hangry. Okay, they're hangry. Well, because. They always have to be by the camera all the time, and there's no like official break. Yeah, but legally, you have to have 20 minutes for lunch anyway. Ah, uh, that's how they get. Mm-hmm. Uh, so le- legally, we everybody yeah. has to stop for 20 minutes for lunch anyway. Mm. Mm. So that, that, that we get 20 minutes regardless. So it gotcha. doesn't matter. But uh, but the, but they call it a running lunch. But you're meant yes. to have 20 minutes. So so it's not gotcha. a, it's not a set time where everybody downs tools. It'll be like. Oh, someone's stopping for like 20 minutes to have lunch. So really, so say for instance, uh, uh, f- first camera is wanting his lunch. Uh, he would generally ask someone to go get his lunch uh, when 
the DOP is getting uh, the 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 gaffer to set up uh, the next shot. So the, the, the okay, so preoccupied with something else. And yeah. Then so he he may, he may even be sat on the camera still. Like he'll he'll be on the dolly and he'll just be eating his lunch. But it's a working but lunch. But he's technically on his right. break. Yeah. Right. It's like, right. So, and and no one should really ask him to come off of it for twenty minutes. It, I mean, it will happen. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, yeah I've tried yeah. In- implementing it in like. It's, 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 I, I imagine it's difficult. I mean, yeah, yeah. As, especially. Uh, I mean, I've I've seen so many ads get chewed out, yep. and it's it's just right. like yeah. I, Usually, I, it's the camera department that yells I, at me. Oh, I could never be an ad. It's it, it's it's hard. It yeah. looks hard. <laughs> it's yeah, like, I was getting trouble. They're like, well, you know, like I don't get to. You, we're with cameras. We never get to leave. So like, we, we shouldn't have. Well, and I get. I'm like, I'm not the one who said to do. Like, this is the producer saying to do French hours, yeah. and don't you f- r- remember? Remember, you guys have to leave earlier. You know, like no mm-hmm. shit. They just yell at me. Or you, or you'll get the sparks. That uh, yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I, I imagine that they as cheeky in the US as they are in the UK. Normally, uh, they'll be they'll uh, be the ones loud. So, so the ele- ele- electrical department, the sparks. Yeah. They'll, yeah. they'll be like talking really loud when people are rehearsing inside and stuff like that. And the ads. Oh are like, yeah, yeah. So you get the sparks just turn and go. Shh, like, oh you know, just, yeah. And, oh, and yeah. then they'll purposely make noise so it just to wind the ad up. And and th- a lot of people will do that on purpose. It's like you are an asshole. <laughs> it's like, but you just see it so much, and uh, and it, it's it's not usually to the ads because the ads are normally seasoned. It's normally to the pas. It's like oh yeah 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 because yeah. yeah, there I've had that where I'm like yeah. okay let's lock it up and the, then like yeah, the, the PA being like they will not shut up yeah like, whereas the ads purpose. will shut it down it will be yeah. like you will shut the fuck up yeah, now. <laughs> and, it's yeah. Like, and then he's absolutely like, okay. Okay, and it's like <laughs> if you don't, I'll go to the first, yeah. and he will go to your boss. Exactly. Like, yeah. So somebody's okay. going to get in trouble either way. <laughs> it, yeah. Exactly. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, but, but yeah, you, that, but then throughout, it's like that you, that that ad then becomes like not a pariah, but it, it's almost like mm, don't say anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's it's I, I, sometimes it's just not worth it. It's yeah. Like, it's it, it, it looks hard to be an ad basically. It is. And that's yes. not to say that all G and E does that. Like G and E, there's some really nice G and E that will treat oh, yeah, their definitely. ads, you know, with respect. But yeah, I have seen that before. But I've seen it more where camera and G and E would be like on the same uh, walkie channel. And they would mm-hmm. just like talk mad shit on everybody. So they'll have their own like separate <laughs> channel and they'll just be like, all right, so uh, let's just uh, let, let's go ahead and uh, make something up for the PA to do or some shit like that, you know, just to yeah. mess with them. Well, you know, we, it looks like, we, we, much like we, we have we have our own channel, which a lot of people don't tend to fuck around on it. You know, it's, it's, it just it, it is what it is. It's like, but so, sometimes people. Yeah, will, but, you know. Uh, but but usually it's um, like if if you're on channel one or stuff like that, which mm. I usually turn off channel one, even if I'm actually meant to be on there. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll I just, go. I'll just, I, I'll I stand, tune it out sometimes too, too. There's too much noise on there. It's a lot. Noise. Yeah, and I I just I, I get headache. So it's uh, but but it, the the one thing I do like is if uh, if I hear like one AD, I'll be like. Oh, uh, so so and so go to two, yep. and there's everybody on set, and then they're like, "Does it? Everybody like, goes to two. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's like, what, what are they talking about? What are they talking about? It's like a conference <laughs> call that no yeah, one knows the they're team. part of. Absolutely, it's yeah. the least private conversation you will. Oh about. yeah, you totally. You something super <laughs> confidential. You should not switch to yeah, two. You should, everybody you should freaking switches to two. Basically, have set it on one. It would probably reach less people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. So I've done PA gigs. And there was one AD who was worried about that all the time. And he would always tell me, he would like to tell PA nation, which is like, you know, the three or four PAs that yeah. work in that uh, production. And they would tell him, it's like, okay, when we want to have a private conversation, we're going to go to channel five. And then mm-hmm. we're like, okay, sure. And then we would go to channel five, but nobody would remember. And they would mm-hmm. just say, oh, can you switch to two? Because nobody would just remember and you just see the fucking first AD just have an absolute meltdown because everyone is trying to tune to channel two, but literally mm. he said, Hey, everybody go to channel five. So I, it's just me and this AD. And I'm like, Hey man, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't understand like the, I don't understand why like everybody's like when you're in a production, 
I understand like you want to have your own separate like conversation, but like for the gall to, for some of these people be like, you know what? It's going to eavesdrop on their conversations. <laughs> like I, I'm going to fuck around and do that. I, I will be a liar to say I haven't done that. I definitely have done that, but I've done it too. <laughs> but you know, it's, it's like, it's one of those things where it's just like, why, why, why play that? I mean, you know, but also for those of you who don't know, channel one is like, Everything. is like a it's like a it's like a city hall Traffic. it's just yeah. like yeah it's just everybody talking everybody's laughing everybody's like you know playing music or some shit you know so usually you go that to, to have like a quiet channel but um yeah it, it's it's wild the the etiquette here especially walkie etiquette and the unspoken rules too that that only applies between like let's say camera department or like you know g and e to go for a uh, a safety meeting you know what I mean? Like they, but, yeah, they, they I, always I mean, have I, something. You know, I've, I've, I'm, I'm generally pretty good on the camera. Uh, not on the camera. Sorry, I'm generally, generally pretty good on the on the radio. But um, I'm not good that, on that, the radio. That, that, that. that. Well, I, I mean, like professional. You know, it's like I, I won't really fuck around. Oh, right. Like, yeah, but, yeah. But I, I, I have been known to work because I, I ran a job um, uh, a year or so ago. And you know, nobody's my boss on set. I am my boss. So it's, so it's like I, I would turn on the radio to greet the rest of the special effects people. And I'd turn it on. And uh, I, I, I don't know if you're familiar with Rage Against the Machine. I uh, love uh, Rage. Yeah. Yeah. Well, g- Gorilla Radio. So I started singing Gorilla Radio. I was oh, like, turn right that up. shit up. And it's like, hello, people. How the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and, uh, and I just hear back, sorry, who's this? And I was like, and I, I was on one. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. And, and oh, you're on one. Oh, that's yeah. so funny. Oh I, I was not on the special effects channel, and uh, and I just replied, "You will never know," and just turned it straight <laughs> off. And said, "No," and I just I just banned myself from the radio for the whole day. I was like, "Just just come speak to me because I'm not going back on the radio." Just in no. case anybody recognizes my voice. Yeah, I would throw my walkie in the trash. I'll be like, I don't. Even, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I I even heard a couple of hours later. I was like, "Who was that earlier?" I was like, no. <laughs> I swear I heard Gorilla Radio. Was it you? Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it still would have got in trouble. So, <laughs> mm. but uh, I, I think the same day actually, I, I, I had nothing to do, and um, like because everything had been set up, so I just went and got a coffee. Um, uh-huh. And obviously, craft services, uh, and I, I, I just went straight over and I was like, "Yeah, I'll have a coffee." Uh, and then uh, called up my mate and I was like, do you, do you want a coffee? He's like, yeah, I'll have coffee. So I, I, two coffees then. And it's like, and then all of a sudden this queue had swarmed behind me and I, I just turned around and I, we'd, we'd only just started the show. So I, I thought, you know, I'll break the ice a little bit. And I just turned around and I could see the, the person at the end of the queue was getting a bit antsy. I was like, oh, sorry, mate, it's going to be a while. I've just ordered 45 coffees. <laughs> oh, went, For Jesus fuck's sake. And just, and just stormed off. And I was like, I was fucking joking. It's like, I've got two. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like it's, Jesus, have a sense of humor for fuck. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes people people <sighs> just don't get sarcasm, especially in the morning. So, so yeah, but so uh, yeah, I, I I need to watch my mouth sometimes. <laughs> no, well, that's the thing though. I do I do the same shit. I it's it's when you when you uh when when that happened was that a PA who uh who uh, uh I, who was, was behind either, you? He had a tray, so it was either a PA or. Um, okay so or, or yeah a tra- or a trainee for a department but basically he was he was very upset early in the morning yeah. and a pa is just there and he's just like lugging coffee around yeah i guess i guess you would just you you would not want to be fucked with but at the same yeah. time you, you you can let loose like you know if i was him i would laugh i would i would absolutely well, or, or, like, if, or right, if he give funny. me if, or if he give me shit back and just uh, uh, <laughs> that, that, that would have been fine as well you know as as <laughs> yeah just just looking for something rough, but, but to storm off it was like okay okay pick it pick those toys up someone spat his dummy out of the pram I, yeah <laughs> <laughs> then you have to do the all right. I'm sorry. Okay, it was a joke. Oh, no, it's fine. No chance. No, I didn't apologize. No. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I'm <laughs> that guy. Every time I say something, and like the AD, the AD looks at me weird. Like I'll just say a joke, or I'll like say a a, a movie quote, mm. and he won't know absolutely what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm talking about Saul, and I, when I when I would when I would say something to him, he would just not have a response. Although we would make the ref those same references you know beforehand so i just look like an asshole and an idiot just just standing there it's just like i'm saying this joke 
especially over walking on channel one. And he, there's just no response. I'm just like, Oh man, I'm going to, I'm going to kill myself. I'm just going to fucking take this van right off the road. See, that actually so, sounds like something I would do just on purpose to just be like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> and then somebody, another PA came by was like, was that you on the radio? I'm like, <laughs> like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> what do you mean? That's good. That's good. That's funny. Um, I, I, I actually used to work with a guy who was uh, he was a morning person, like, uh, and I, it was on Justice League actually that every, every morning, seven o'clock without fail, he'd be like on the radio, full blast. Hello, family. How we doing, everybody? Is like, oh, wow. shut the fuck. Oh, no, that's his name. that's a little crazy. But he's like, shut up. Oh, it's so early. <laughs> <laughs> That's too much energy. Sometimes, yeah. like in the morning, it's fine to be medium energy. No, I can't say that. I was going to say something else. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was going to say something else. Are you it's, it's right, yeah. to talk about some of the, uh, without naming specific productions, if you're not. It's probably to, like, no, the Christine. Worst, the worst conditions you've had to work under? Uh, probably it'd be very easy to work out if I did say okay. what, what it was. Okay. So it's like, okay. But I, well, you know what it is. I know so like, yeah, is. you know what it is. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's going to be hard to say without sure. getting, getting myself cancelled or something. So yes, like... okay. No cancellation for Leon. <laughs> I mean, I, I could I could talk about some bits, it's just okay. like yeah. not 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 bad stuff. Yeah, you know, it's like, yeah it doesn't. Not that there's yeah. any bad stuff. Anybody no. out there listening is yeah. definitely no bad stuff. No. The, film, the film industry is very good. <laughs> <laughs> they treat all their workers right. <laughs> yes, yes. There's no bad yeah. stuff. No bad. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um. No, we. I mean, we love the industry. It's a, it's like we talk about on the podcast. It's been. I mean, you know, it's been uh, over 100 episodes and we yeah. we talk about like the people that piss us off for sure. And we vent and we we talk about like, you know, the thing that is just like very um, specific to <laughs> to film culture. So sometimes we're probably isolating a, a few of our audiences who have no idea what the film industry actually entails. But um, it's it's What's always... It, you- <laughs> Go ahead. I was gonna say you, you you try and say something bad about the film industry. So the the worst thing about the film industry is, and it's just like I love the film industry. Uh-huh. The film oh, actually, I mean, I, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love fourteen hour days. Yeah. I love having overtime. <laughs> I love reshoots. I love it all. Yeah, guys don't get I mean, overtime. Well, no, not. I mean, yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You get overtime? Wow. No, I, I wouldn't do overtime if I didn't get overtime money. <laughs> you need to get paid for it. That's why it's called no, overtime. I don't even know well, if we get overtime. I don't even know if that's true. We're supposed I don't even know if I got to. overtime. You're supposed yeah. to, but I don't I haven't even calculated on my checks sometimes. I'm just like, yeah. did I even go? I don't we know. we get we get the produ- the producer will come around to our department and they'll they'll ask us if we uh can do overtime. Yeah. And uh so so it, it, it's, it's Interesting. quite um it's quite proper, really. You know, it's, it's like you go around and be like, "Hi guys, we're, we're going to have to go over an hour. Is that okay? You know, it might oh, be too." Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it's like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. You know, you've asked, but when they just do it without asking, it, you know, it's. Uh, I mean, we'll still do it, but it's it, shitty. It, it it doesn't go down as well. Yeah, it doesn't no. go down as well. So yeah, and and kind of look I've, like I've an asshole. It, I've seen it before, where where not not our department, but I have seen a department just decide. No, no, we're not doing it. And they'll walk off. And then the first is that to turn around and go, okay, well, that's, a wrap. That, that's a wrap then because we can't do it without yeah. them. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I've seen it happen. So, yeah. Yeah. That's well, the thing. I mean, oh, go ahead. I know. I was just saying that. Well, you are, under... when you're in this industry, you know, the ones who are just trying to push their luck mm. and trying to mm. take advantage of people's understanding. So after a few times when it happens, then it ceases to be shit like this just happened and we're sorry mm. type thing. Like mm-hmm. we don't mean this. It becomes a, we expect this from you. Yeah, that's it. It, it becomes the like they'll, they'll ask it and then they won't ask it. And right. they just keep not asking because like, well, right. they, they just don't say anything. So, yeah. Right. That's so. the issue. I think people are, for the most part, if they feel like the production is going out of their way to make people comfortable and stuff, Hey, one day we go over time. It's like sure, no not that big, big of a deal. deal. Cause like it, it, but if it's like the the problem is like that's why there are these rules to protect 
production or people and crews because it the issue is some of these productions have literally factored in going overtime and throwing money at it. And so it becomes a, I expect you to go overtime type thing without uh, a courtesy. Yeah. But then you've got to take turnaround into time because if you don't, yes. if you don't do turnaround, then sure. yeah, so, which I've, I've, I've had, uh, I've, I've had, been on a production before where they've paid the turnaround, but then I've had four hours sleep. <laughs> And yeah, and yeah I, I made a lot of money out of it, but I'm not you very got good a couple for the hours of right. sleep. And that's yeah. the issue. Yeah. yeah, I'm not very good for the rest of the day. And I'm dealing with fire and stuff all day. And it's like, this is not fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe I should get a full night's sleep if I. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so yeah. it, it can be de- definitely counterproductive for sure. It's right. like, um, and and it's not like a lot of the time you'll even have a choice. It's like sometimes it's just well, no, you have to. You it's have like, to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'll I'll do it. But I mean, there's you know, you you ask me uh, at at the, the the last hour of the next day, like to do something, I'm just, I'm going to be looking at you like a zombie. I'm like, I I don't. Even what are know you what talking about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's it's like I've yeah. had three hours sleep. <laughs> yeah. Because because of uh, I I don't know if it's the same over there, but but they they will take into account uh your travel your travel uh no, no sorry to. sorry they're, they're meant to but they, they usually, usually don't they usually don't, don't. They'll, they'll, yeah. they'll do turn around from when you when you when you officially they usually don't. to when you officially start yeah and that's that's about if right you, if you want to get there for breakfast you've got to get there an hour early anyway so yeah. it's like so i see but that's 10 hours straight away and then your travel time and if your hotel's 45 minutes away that's an hour and a half and it's <laughs> and the hours is just ticking down and down and down I've, I've seen some people actually have to sleep on a set before because there's just no point in them going back. Yeah, we should have done. <laughs> one of my worst set experiences was a was a union was my first, and pretty much only union experience because I was a PA. I was non union, so mm-hmm. they worked us to the bone. And I remember mm-hmm. finishing at two a.m. and then having to be on set at four a.m. Yeah, that that's is that turnaround it's, is it's illegal. Yeah, it's illegal. It's, it's, it's yeah, it's fucking legal. Yeah, but they did it. Yeah. 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 So because if you're non-union, well, yeah. we can take all of the exactly. advantage of you. Because we were yeah. non-union, nobody would care if we no. reported it or anything. That like does, that doesn't yeah. make sense. I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, we have non-union people in the UK that work on union stuff. It's, yeah. it's but they still have the same rights. The right. same but rules apply to them. Yeah. yeah. But the the, yeah. the union is there to back their corner. Right. And it I mean, was, yeah, yeah, you have to pay. You have to pay your dues and stuff. That's like the thing. But the union's because, there to help people. Sure, but that's the thing is that like, oh, because we because you're non-union and we're paying you for your overtime or whatever like you have to them you've signed away your rights because we're paying you for your time yeah which yeah. is bullshit basically yeah 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 so it was an awful awful experience and apparently that happens quite a lot yeah one of my first I'm, I'm, gigs I'm, on a oh go ahead Leon sorry no 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 I, it wasn't anything relevant so just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no but what I was gonna say is I I had a similar thing but like I was a, a an art department assistant at the and this was like one of my very first sets and we traveled to Leander I want to say which is like hours away from Austin and uh, I had to there was like bungalows that other people can stay in. But I chose to stay in my car and sleep in my car because I went to one of those bunks and like I opened up one of the sheets and just like a bunch of bugs just started scattering across the bed. And I was like, well, I'm going to sleep in my car. So fuck this. And then uh, I'm not going to out who it is, but someone who I worked with in the art department uh, was like, hey, since you're parked, you can bring your car closer to set we have some things you can paint. <clears throat> so oh, gosh. how about you put in a fresh coat? You can sleep in for like maybe 30 minutes. So, you know, you don't have to go be there and call time, call time. But it turned out that like I needed to be there and call time anyways, because I needed to prep a lot of shit. So mm-hmm. that art, art department person, again, I won't say who kind of yeah. was just like, playing this game of just like, Hey, I'll scratch your back. You're going to scratch mine and you go ahead and paint this thing. So I stayed up all night with like two, two coats of paint in like three separate hours. And I probably got a total of like an hour and a half of sleep. And it, (laughs) that is just like, 
and I couldn't, and I didn't, I didn't say anything, but I knew it was fucked up. Like I just, I knew, I knew it was fucked up, but like it had to be done. There was like no time and our call time was insane and we had no prep at all. Like, like just no time period, you know, (laughs) unless we were sleeping. (laughs) A lot, a lot of people will try and make something your problem. Uh, just so they don't have to do it. It's incredible. Um, I, yeah, I've, I I I remember uh, clear as day. Uh, so not not to be mm-hmm. like I've got a story like that. You know, but it's, but it's <laughs> like um, I I was a trainee back at the back of the time. So it's like yeah, yeah but but it's like oh okay. Um, well, it's it's lunch. And it's like yeah, mate. But uh, I need you to go out and get this. And it's like right. But I'm but sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it after lunch. It's right. like, well, no, we, we need it now. So just, just have your lunch when you get back. So it's like, okay, all right. Yeah, well, that makes sense. So when I got back, uh, it was, you know, it's like lunch. Our, right. our, our lunch had finished. So it's like our, our lunch. Um, so I'd, I'd got back, I'd got everything, I'd, I'd done my job. And I went into the tea room uh, to have my lunch. And my main boss came in and said, what the fuck are you doing in here? And he's like, I'm oh. having my lunch. And it's like, it's not fucking lunchtime. Lunchtime was an hour ago. And so, yeah, but I just like, get the fuck out now and get back to work before you're fired. Oh, and my so, yeah, God. It's just like, oh, um, yes, yeah, so there's no explaining. It's, it's like just no no way to explain it. And it's, yes, yeah, so it's like just no lunch for the day. Then it's like, brilliant. So, so you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's silly. Things like that just happen. It's just, it's just like, it's, I, in, in theory, I should have just gone off somewhere and just hid for an hour somewhere else it's yeah. like well i'm taking my lunch so it's like but right but then you, you get people constantly calling you and it's like where are you where are you you're meant to be here and it's like, well i'm on my lunch so like, no lunch yeah, it's, yeah right and then you've got to then say well this guy said and it's like well this guy isn't technically your boss and, right. you know all sorts of things it's like yeah so yeah a, this... a, lot of th- a lot of things can mess you up when you when you're just starting out in the industry very easily so yeah. And that person who told me to, it's funny you mentioned that because the person who told me was uh, the art director who was like, who told me to just stay up and then do the coats of paint and shit like overnight. And it wasn't until like the rap party when I, I told the production designer and he was like, are you fucking kidding me? And I'm like, well, I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal. And he was like, no, that is a big deal. Like that's, that's insane. Like you're entitled to sleep. What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know what I mean? And I was like, oh, okay. I, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. So that's the thing when you say, like, all right, so we're meant to work 19 hours a day. Okay. That, that's, that's weird for sure. <laughs> I didn't know any better. So industry. Yeah. Yeah. It's for a passion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, That's it. It's like, you're doing it because you love it. Not because you want money. Right. 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 And it's, it's isn't it great telling people outside of the film industry when you do shit like this and then they're like, how do you not want to die? It's just like, how are you, how are you, how are you doing this? And you're just like, yeah, no, this is fun. It's like, well, it is fun. Like (laughs) you don't get it. Like you Uh, need to be there. (laughs) <laughs> a lot of people will say like like people who aren't in industry they'll, they'll be like oh wow you work on films and i'm like yeah it's exotic like, right that's, yeah that sounds that sounds amazing do, yeah, yeah. do you enjoy it? do you love it do you love it and i'm like no <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it, it Dude, just i gotta start like saying you, that yeah it just <laughs> seems like you just break the world like, uh, but i'm not i'm, I'm not I, I don't hate it you know i, I it's a job you know it, it, yeah. it's my job i i'm, I'm good at my job yeah. um but I mean, do, do I do I love long hours, not knowing if I'm going to finish for that day or I'm going to be on for an extra three months because they've messed something up in the schedule or, you know, all, all sorts of things like this. It's like I, I don't particularly like uh, the unpredictability of it, mm-hmm. but I, you know, I, I enjoy being able to choose when I work. You know, I, I could I could particularly do uh, a couple of films or, or one film if it's a particularly long production uh for six months and if i feel like it i can take six months off you know and it's like what what other job can you do that in? no you, you can't it's, it's like you know right. what i'm mm-hmm. gonna go out to texas for uh a month because i feel like it and it's like right. someone will call me up and be like oh can you do this job it's like oh i'll be back in a month right <laughs> you know and yeah. it's, it's, so uh, if, if you need me then yeah sure you know yeah, it's, 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 it's uh, taking uh, the I, schedule I choose, back in your hands like, yeah. yeah i i choose when when i when i go on something you know and it's like i mean it's it's nice when someone calls you up and offers you something um and usually i i will take it because i i i don't particularly like not working it's it, i get bored very easily like i'll do a massive long job i'll be i'll be miserable i'll be so tired um 
and wanting to come home all the time and I'll have four days off and I'll be like, oh, I need to get back on a job again. Yeah. <laughs> four, four days is usually... Yeah. Christine That's talked usually about it. that. Yeah, I yes. we, we've definitely brought that up, yeah. Yeah, we're all like that yeah. where... That, 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 that's, that's my limit. Four, four days. Be, four yeah. days for me. What was it? Days. Is it three days? A week, maybe? Is that... I think I can, it's a now week. I can do a week. You can do a week, yeah. yeah four my, four my... days is my limit. That, that's it. That's, oh, that's yeah, I can... Now I can do, like, a week. Because for me now, ADing is no longer my main goal. Well, you're directed. So, right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so now when I have time off, then it's like time for me to focus on what I actually want to do, right. which is directing. Mm -hmm. Right. And I, that's, there's a good and bad thing about it. So because it's, it was never like my main goal. I, I got into ADing so that I could direct. However, I also wanted to be very good at anything that I do. So yeah. I still wanted to do a fucking good job as an AD. Right. Hmm. But the more, that I wanted to be a director, the less I gave a shit about stuff, which is good because then I was better at saying no to bullshit. Well, I mean, not not shitting on the AD department at all because they do good work. And yeah. Without mm. without them, the, the industry couldn't run. Yeah. Right. But the AD department is used as a stepping stone to a lot of other departments. Right. The same as locations. Yeah. You yeah. Know, a lot of people will go into particular departments where or, you, yeah. you can do stuff. Of, of course you can do stuff. I mean, it's a job. It needs to be done. But it's like you, you can you can you can walk into it. You can you can learn it. And you might not be the best at it, but you can, you can do the job moderately competently. And then you can decide that you want to go to a more not in a bad way, but a more a more a more specialized or, yeah. or technical department. You know, so sure. say say oh, I actually like the look of the camera department. You know, you go mm. over and you will speak to someone about camera. Maybe get on as a second AC or, or yeah. just like a runner or what whatever. Um, and and the same with special effect. We've had people come in from locations. We've had people come in and, and you know just could just come on. We, we've had security guards that are like, oh, that looks good. And it's like, well, you, you really a strong guy. You can carry gas bottles. So yeah, go go for it. It's like we'll give you a trial. You know, oh, okay, it's like, yeah, yeah. It's it's it it sounds like an ex, uh, an exclusive industry where you can only get in. Um, yeah, it's if, not if you know the right people and stuff like that. But it, it really isn't. It, I mean, no. it, de it definitely depends on who you speak to, sure, which mm. happens in every walk of life. Yes, but I th I think that um, it's not as exclusive as people like to think. It's like, oh, I'll never work in the film industry. It's like you can, you just need to sort of. You may not work at the exact job that you want, sure, mm -hmm. but you can get in and figure out from that job how to pivot. Yeah, just because you can't immediately get into uh, being a DOP right. or stuff like that. It's like, well, I've used a camera before. Why aren't I a DOP? It's like, well, maybe if you go into uh, a, a, a like ads or locations or I, I don't know, even props or, or yeah. stuff like that. You know, yeah. anything like that. Um, you could start in that, and then you could just Make your move over to a different over. department. You yeah. you speak to them. You say, "Oh, well, mm -hmm. have you got any openings? No, we haven't on this one. Okay, well, maybe on the next one." And you'll do that job, and you'll do the whole job, and then you'll go on to the next one, and maybe you'll see that person again. Oh, do you have anybody on this? Oh, yeah, you know what? Maybe I could. Maybe I could use someone. It's like, a, and and you pick things up. You'll be around them. You'll be like, "Oh, do you want this? Do you want this lead? Oh, that's a so and so lead." So, all oh, right, okay, and you remember it, and you know mm -hmm. the, those sort of things. And you'll like hand it to someone, yeah. or you'll you overhear that they need it, and you'll go out and you'll get it and you'll give it to them. And he's like, oh, oh, okay. An AD has just handed me the right lead that I need. Yeah. Thank, thank you, but yeah, it's, uh, you're and helping I've, me. I've, okay, I've seen things work like that, and it does work out. Yeah, Definitely. but the, but I guess the the good thing is the less you, the more you know that you're good at your job, mm -hmm. the more you're better at walking away when things are wrong mm -hmm. and stuff. So like, so now before I probably would have taken more shit, but because something else has taken precedent, I won't take shit anymore. Like to be better at aiding or taking one for the team, yeah. stuff like that. So um, I don't know where I was going on with this, but like I. Oh, it's just I choosing your own path and yeah, directing. Yeah. And, and directing is like where I want to go. So now when like a production is like, oh, well, we're paying you. So you have to go on these millions of location scouts. I don't affect mm. the schedule. I'm like, no, mm. like, like that's time away from what I actually want to do. And so, yeah. So I guess my, my whole thing is like, at a certain point, I don't want more money, like more, like I yeah. want the time, you know? So yeah. yours is four days. Mine is like 
oh, I now treat time off as time that I can actually spend on what I want right. to do. Whereas I'm just lazy with my four days. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all need to be lazy at some point too, in one way or another. I'll, I'll just go back and go on my Xbox or something. So. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there's nothing wrong with that. Also too, the new uh, Star Wars video game trailer came out and I'm fucking excited for that. So we're, uh, we're that- just, you know. That that was being streamed at like two a.m. and I was uh I, I was the video game awards you mean yeah in the in the UK yeah I was trying to stay up <laughs> to watch it but I, I I caught a little bit and I, I I just thought that Elden Ring would get like voted number one because uh, I I I hate that game with the passion I hate it I hate it but I played one hundred and forty hours and I completed it <laughs> oh oh I see what you're saying yeah 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 okay okay yeah, <laughs> I yeah. hate it but it's the best game one of the best games I've ever played <laughs> oh it's but I, but I hate it. It's the best game of the decade, but yeah, I. But, but yes, when the I DLC the comes same. out, I will play that. <laughs> I'm taking a break. I beat my, I beat Melina and ever, you know. It's like, really? I'm, I'm, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, yeah. I needed to take a mental health break with the, <laughs> with the Elden Ring. It was, it was getting to the point where I was like, listen, I know it's been ten hours. I'm supposed to do other shit, but if <laughs> I just beat this one boss, it will make my fucking month. I promise, it will make my month. And then I can't beat it, and all I want to do is just bite my controller. <laughs> I, I think there's only one achievement I haven't got on Elden Ring. <laughs> oh, and it's just I, like, is that like a forgotten thing now? You just it's, can't. It's to beat it three times, and I beat it once. Oh, and to be honest, yeah. To be honest, I could beat the other the other storylines because I'd already done all the story. This is getting completely off track. Sorry. It's <laughs> but it's we like, digress. All, Let's go. I'd already done the storylines to get like the best endings and stuff like that. But I decided that I just didn't want to fight. Um, I won't spoil who the last boss is if you haven't got there. But I didn't want to fight the last boss again because um, the last boss is a pain. Oh no, I I beat it. Yeah, no, I. Oh right, yeah, yeah. So so I I didn't want to fight Radagon again. Radagon, yeah. I I I had to cheese him. I had to take all my armor off, um, which glitches him. Uh, uh, you you take all your armor off and uh, Google uh, YouTube this YouTube this. Oh uh, my if you god! Take, if you take I promise myself armor, no walkthroughs too. Yeah. Uh. If you if you take all your armor off because I just couldn't beat him. It's, this is like this is fucking yeah. bullshit. If you take all your armor off and you get uh, it's like this weird. It's it's like a magician weapon because it's a bl- it's blue, but it's it's really yeah. low powered. And you take all your armor off and you just hit him once every. 15 to 20 seconds, he okay. won't move, and you can't stagger him. And I think it took me about 20 minutes to beat him, but you, you kill him. And oh, then that's... Elden Beast is a walkover, so I... That's I, like I, Zelda Elden patience. I, I have... Yeah. I just go strength and dex build, and I'm just like, I'm gonna fucking maul these motherfuckers. I don't care. <laughs> I just want to get through it! You know, like, Radig- I just... Radigon get so... Yeah. <laughs> Radigon... Yeah, 100, 140 I, hours. 140 hours. Was, I, I didn't even... Know, well spent. I didn't see my... my my clock. But if I, if I if I saw, I'd probably be depressed if I if I saw how much time I clocked in at that game. That would be... It would be bad. <laughs> I spent less time playing a video game in lockdown that I got a world record on than I did playing Elden Ring. Are you serious? A world yeah. record on on what? <laughs> tell them what. I'm gonna tell them what you're it's, talking it's, about. It's just an old arcade game. So it's oh, like okay, a, gotcha. Oh, yeah, so you do so, like speed runs and, and stuff like that? I, I've I've got an any percent and 100 percent record on the same game, but I'm I'm not a speed runner. It was oh, just g- gotcha. I, okay. I, I I got the points world record on it during lockdown because I was really bored. And, oh, gotcha. um, and and it's, it's a game I grew up playing. Not 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 to take anything away from it, but as like, I I grew up playing it, and I started playing it, and then all of a sudden, I was in the top ten. It's like, oh, and and I just started to grind it. I started to play it a lot, play it a lot, and uh, yeah, I, I got the top spot. I got uh, number one. Uh, I beat beat the previous world record holder by a few hundred thousand. And, and you streamed um, it. Yeah, yeah, streamed it. It was it was on my Twitch. Wow. Um, and it was uh, I mean, well, the world record had to be done. Um, because I had I I actually broke it and then I submitted it to Twin Galaxies, which is the uh, the online uh, yeah. official official leaderboard for world records, right? And they wouldn't accept it because I did it on an Astro City Mini. So it's like because Wonder Boy is on the Astro City, it's it's, it's an original Sega game from 1986. Yeah, I, I did wow. it on the Astro City Mini, and they wouldn't accept it. So I had to do it on Mame. But there's a thing called Wolf Mame. Which you it's it's all sorts of things like that. There's the thing called I, INP or something. It's it's basically okay. to to stop any form of cheating. 
It's like oh, okay, so, right. So, so, so they they can look into the code to check. So, puts a it. yeah, a chastity, and if it basically. doesn't, if it sh- if you do anything, it will basically show what yeah. what cheats you're using and stuff. Okay, exactly, exactly. So, so, gotcha. I, so I played. No, I'm good. So I, I played it, and there was a delay. Uh, so there was a bit of lag of maybe not quite a sec, maybe maybe uh, two thirds of a second. Mm. So even even then, as a platformer, that was a pain in the ass to play play because that's that. And my controller buttons were back to front, so it was like even that I was at a massive disadvantage, and I still broke the world record. So I'm I'm quite happy about that. So yeah. yeah. And anyway, going completely. So off. going back to film. <laughs> yeah, going, going, yeah, yeah. So stop talking about video games. No, no one's here for video games. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Uh, question: Is there what's your favorite medium in special effects, like fire or? I don't know. Mm. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I like doing fire effects. I mean, smoke is basically uh, special effects bread and butter. It really is. It's like, uh, it's what. But is that your favorite? Though? Uh, no, it's not my favorite. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to do it. I can do it, sure. Yeah. But uh, I, I, I like doing fl- uh, flame effects. Um, definitely, I, I mean, flame bars are very, very simple to use, uh, practical fires, all sorts of things. Um, so pyro is your first love. And- no, no, but well, pyro is pyro is different. Pyro is like your explosion, uh, your explosion and stuff like that. I, I will do pyrotechnics. Yeah, but I, I am not egotistical enough to to think that I am clever enough to be do to do pyro on my own completely and <laughs> and not kill myself. Mm. You know, it's like I will, I will. I mean, I, I have because um, we we have it's not licenses in the UK, but it's like accreditation. You know, you go on courses and stuff like that. Yeah, I have a course which says you know I'm competent to use uh, particular pyrotechnic explosives and stuff like that. So so that's absolutely fine. But I still wouldn't go in and say I will do explosives on my own. I will go in and I will assist someone who has been doing it for twenty years. <laughs> of course, of course, I will. And it's like, and and, and I will know. Some of the stuff they're talking about, but some of the stuff I'll have no idea what they're talking about. It's like when when they start actually cutting open. Um, no, I shouldn't say that because that's technically illegal. Uh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's fine. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Just is just a, 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 explosives in general. Is it's it's a really it's a niche area for sure. Uh, yeah, it's it's. I mean, people might be like, "Oh, yeah, explosions fun." It's of course, but it's extremely. It's dangerous. intricate. Yeah. There's there's lots yeah, of details. Like there there yeah. is so much that can go wrong, uh, and it's right. Like, and you you want to be around the most competent people, and I I consider myself competent. I've I've been on button uh, buttons before where I've been in in charge of setting off the the debts and on all sorts of things, and I've been fine. And I've also uh, nearly got sacked for not pressing the button. Because I've seen something which I do not agree with, so I've refused to fire, and I've been chewed out by my boss because really? of really, yes, uh, and, and even had a stuntman come over, despite of it being a it. safety concern. Yes, safety. Yes, yep. interesting. Yes. That uh, that has happened to me before, um, but you know, it's, it, it, it comes comes with the job. I know I was in the right, so you know, it's it's. it's I was about but, to say, uh, I don't think the, your judgment was waned from 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 making that decision to just not fire it, you know, based off uh, of safety, I'm, you know. I mean, I mean, not not to dwell on other things. You're not naming I, names. I, don't I, name names. No, <laughs> it was, it was, it was, I, I I know people that have done bad things with explosives. Some ass because... backward shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, worse. Worse. But, oh, but yeah, gotcha. Just, yeah, but uh, yeah, it's 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 it, it's it's a dicey dicey part of the part of the industry, but it's it's special effects. It's what we do. It's it, it's like, for instance, you say, I mean, to bring up something which happened in America, but bringing up the armory department and and that yeah. that must feature with rust. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That that is a horrible thing that happened and shouldn't have happened, but it it, it can it yes. can happen. You know, if if the wrong things happen and, and people come in who aren't experienced stuff like that. And and start thinking, oh well, of course I can do this on my own, you know, sort of thing, and and want to run before they can walk, and you can miss things, and 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 that's that that that's something that I never want to do myself. So I will never uh, overreach or or try and bullshit someone that I can do something which I I can do, but I will say that I can do it uh, to the absolute best they will ever see. You know, I'm I'm going to be like, well, no, I will help somebody. 
or I will have somebody there with me uh, and I can do it, but mm-hmm. I want someone else there with a bit more experience, you know, that, that sort of thing. And, and that's that because py- pyrotechnics, uh, I think you've got to be really specialized and just do pyrotechnics. I yeah, mean, you can't uh, get away with competency alone. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 there are people who know pyro inside and out. And the, the, those yeah. are the people you really want around. Uh, I mean, you, you can have an everyday tech uh, to, to help out, but unless they've actually been, you know, properly trained in, in, in everything and know uh, all, all the safety concerns and stuff like that, you, you know, you've, you've really got to be careful. That's just my opinion. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not sure whether that's that's shared uh, industry standard, but it's just uh, myself from my own point of view. I, of course, I, I like pyrotechnics. I'm happy to do them, but I just... I, I I do uh, speak my concerns uh, and and do re- right. and some sometimes it, it, I actually got taken off of a pyro job because I said uh, you know it's like and somebody else volunteered who had less experience than me and went and did it and goes well I'll just learn when I do it and it's like yeah yeah throw all the caution to the wind all right yeah, yeah. exactly and it's like it's like well fine fine well, whatever you go yeah, yeah it's at least not your liability yeah, exactly so yeah, yeah it's just some things points about, about so. liability. And I think that was probably the same circumstance with Russ too. Um, it was just yeah, sort hor- of like horrible thing. Horrible. It thing. was a horrible thing, but I'm just saying, like in terms of the line of communication and the line right. of like you know, uh, basically th- taking any and all safety concerns to the side. And so many people, especially like seeing it on film Twitter, say that well, it's the armor, it's the first AD, it's the director, it's well, no, it's Alec Baldwin. He's a producer. It's just like well. You can point fingers all you want. I w- wouldn't because it's a it's a failure on all accounts, on like all just yeah. a, a straight up failure on every single account, every single department. Yeah, didn't, I think one of the main warnings communicate. should have been the fact that uh, people had already walked out before yeah. it happened because yeah. of a camera concerns. department walked out, um, stunts even walked out uh, mm. as as according to uh, an article like just a month ago. Um, and yeah, and they even like as far as like the fucking uh, what was it, Chris? Was it the FBI who determined that like there was no way a, a bullet can jam in that gun? Right. And Alex's account on the Stephanopoulos interview was that oh no, it jammed. Like I pulled the hammer back, and it didn't it didn't fire off. Although they determined the FBI determined that that's impossible with that model gun. Like there's no way. So again, who can you blame? There's, there's so many things to blame. There's so many fucking things tossed up in the air. The one thing that should never be, um, compromised questioned or compromised is safety. safety. Like that yep. is just insane to me. Like, it's just, even the stunt people were like, hang on what? Like there's, there's like live rounds on set. Uh, that's, that's a problem, isn't it? It's like, well, yeah, but I mean, we're kind of going through some safety meetings and we we are repressed for time and we got to get this shoot over with. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you're you're not helping this situation. And like in your situation, well, I'm just going to hire another dude who's going to do it, you know, to just basically say yes to everything, although you're you're jeopardizing safety. <laughs> yeah i, I, I mean I, I i i was still on the job it's just i, I was uh, i moved over to um set something but prep, prepping another part of Pyro, right but fair enough but just yeah. um not doing what the what they were doing yeah which which was uh, a little bit more intricate yeah <laughs> yeah, so. yeah but it's it shows it shows your your level of confidence too because like like you said before it like the people who who run that are like smart as fuck like engineer ass like people like there was one dude who worked in uh um special effects who i who i met and he's he's from texas but he's like he he his like brother works for boeing like he's an engineer ass engineer like he just he knows he knows everything and he's he's smart but i i can tell that that's a really hefty job to put put on yourself if uh if you don't have the uh, the wherewithal or the confidence to 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 have it <laughs> to do it, exactly. It's it's just that the, there are things that could go wrong. Would I know how to solve them if they did go wrong? Oh, it's, it's all absolutely. Those sort of things. You just got to get ahead. It's 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 absolutely ridiculously easy to go in and just get get a bit of twin flex, you know, bit bit of wire, connect it up to a firing box, t- turn yourself to armed, and press a button. You know that, that anybody can do that. 
But what if it doesn't go off? Do you disconnect? Do you disarm? Do you go over and check it out? What would it, what, what are the steps you take? It's, right. it's you know, all sort of things. And it's like it's and is is anybody around? Is the actor in the right position? You know, it's, it, it's not as simple as it sounds. Yes. No. And it's just a lot of things you've got to look for. And and which is what happened on on the well, I, I told you in detail. I, I can't say in detail, yeah. but um I told you in detail what I, what what happened and on what particular job it was. But um, yeah, I, I I basically was was on the firing box with my boss in my ear. He was uh, over with the director, uh, and he was watching on the monitor. And when he would say in my ear, "What what what button?" I, I would press the button, but I wouldn't be looking at the box. I know where the buttons are on my hands, so it's almost like playing a keyboard. It's like right. You know, I, I I would be looking, obviously not resting on the buttons, but I'd be like ready to go, like just hovering above. Or you're watching for cues uh, and stuff. Yeah, well, well, no, the the cue is my boss telling me. Oh, know, but I'm, I'm watching. Yeah. I'm also watching the set because you've also got to have a line of sight. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, for the first few takes, it's absolutely fine. It's like one, two, three, four. Mm. I said, you know, I'll, I'll just do it, and then reset, 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 and then the fourth time we're doing it, and I see a stuntman get his arm caught over where I know a debt is, and I'm just like, nope, and, yeah. and I hear one, no, one, and it's like obviously they're filming, so I can't reply or anything like that, but I've I've disarmed, yeah, and it's like one, and it's like, no, no, he, oh, he, oh yeah, he. He was fuming when he came out. He's like, he's, Wouldn't he like, see oh. that though? On while while shooting, if they're seeing it in frame, they would see that stunt man getting caught. No, interesting. Okay, Did, didn't didn't have the chance to ask. So ah, uh, I see. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. it was just it, it came down to uh, a monetary amount that I had cost the film apparently. So <laughs> oh, interesting. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, but you know, I, I, nothing nothing happened. You know, I, I did. Uh, it wasn't like I got sacked off the film or anything. I I, I no. finished on. I, I finished when I finished. It was like, uh, and the stuntman actually thanked me. I I you know, he's, he's like, thank you for not. You know, I was like, yeah, I, I saw you had your arm caught. Yeah. So you I, know, you did the right thing. Yeah, of course I did. Yeah, I, no. I know I did. Yeah, I know I did. Yeah. It's uh, right. that's that's crazy. I mean, th- this is a uh, we've been all going on f- after like past an hour now, right? Like, uh, I think way past. Yeah, we're at an hour and a half. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, was there anything else, Christine, that you wanted to talk about? No, or Leon, if you let you go home. Yeah, I've, I've got yeah, you got it. Yeah. You should. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. Let's let's wrap this shit up then, uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Leon, for for participating in the podcast. Thank you for coming on. We want you to come back again, especially if you're here in Texas. I mean, cool. God, we got it. We got to hit you up and and uh, and get you yeah. on the pod. Sorry, um, I couldn't say uh, too much stuff that um, would get me canceled. Yeah, so. no, nobody. No, we we're the, we're the same way. Uh, sometimes yeah. we overshare and probably shoot ourselves in the foot. Yeah. So <laughs> it's best to just uh, to just keep it keep it clean, you know. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, that's been the Get Real this podcast. If you thought we've forgotten, we haven't. Get your books today. Getrealisms.com, ladies and gentlemen. Co-written by the three guests on the previous episode before this one with Kelly, Jason Cates, um, and hair and makeup uh, extraordinaire Roxanne McDaniel. Um, Getrealisms.com. Pick up your books. Get all your shit today. And Ursleyfilm.com didn't think didn't forget about that to watch Ursley now on VOD. So watch it, gather your friends, gather everyone and watch a a dope ass mermaid mermaid film. Um, that's it. That's it for the podcast. That's it for, for me. I ran out of podcast, Christine. Yes. uh, It's time to say goodbye. Thank you so much. Facebook guys so much. Thank you. Instagram. Bye bye from the UK. Bye bye from the UK. See you guys.